Mark Toth claims he never wanted to start a restaurant. So we started, like I said, on October 1st of 218. Mm -hmm. Really, the impetus behind Urban Walk was a concept that I saw in Amsterdam called Walk to Walk. If you've ever heard of Walk to Walk, I think there's one in Miami. It was, it was a really neat concept in urban settings, and I really liked that because I've been living in an urban setting a little bit like uh, in New York, you know, a lot of the little urban neighborhoods throughout New York, the Soho's of the world, I live in the North Loop, and I thought this concept would do great in these urban settings. And so that was really the impetus behind it. In addition, I'd have a restaurant background and I'd worked for Chili's Grill and Bar and Brinker, so I knew the business. And I really never wanted to open a restaurant, I wanted to open a scalable concept. The front of house is largely automated. Guests can order and pay via kiosks or on the chain's app. The result is a lean business with labor costs of around 15 to 16 percent once a restaurant is up and running. So we're very technology centric uh, and we were before COVID as well. So when I say that we you know, use all kiosks, we use all mobile payment, we have no cash in the restaurants, all app based, very little servers, very little bartenders, you know, staff is pretty minimal. Uh, like I said, no cash. We really, you know, that was a technology centric piece of it. And then, okay, how do you build that concept in terms of food? And what I thought was interesting about the Asian concept was we could take sauces from around the world and not be basically tied into one cuisine, right? It's an Asian style of cooking with the wok, but I could take, you know, sauces from India to Hawaii to, you know, Mexico, and I could still build this new concept with, with cuisine and with flavors from around the world, hence Global Fusion. Despite the name, Urban Walk isn't an Asian restaurant per se, but what Toth calls global fusion. Say you come into the restaurant, you're going to order on a kiosk, and the, the online platforms are going to be very similar to this as well. You come in, you're going to pick your base, that's going to be you know your rices or your rice noodles, udon noodles, soba noodles. Um, then you're going to go through, pick your veggies, um, up to five veggies, or you can even add more for an upcharge. And then you're going to pick your protein, uh, currently, we have tofu, shrimp, uh, steak, and chicken. And uh, then you pick your signature sauce, and those are all, uh, you know, speaking of prep, th those are the main prep items. Those are all made from scratch in house. So. And they're all gluten free and vegan. The brand's slogan is Walk Your Way, meaning guests can eat in the restaurant, around 30% do, take it to go, or have it delivered. Beer, mostly local craft beer, and wine are for sale and account for around 4% of total sales, which is on the high end for fast casual restaurants. We have a saying called walk your way. So we have two trademarks, walk your way and urban walk. And walk your way, W-O-K, your way, means a lot of different things. One, it means, you know what, you can eat the food how you want. You can eat it, it comes in a container too. It's a, it's a we're 100% green. So it comes in like an Asian container with our with our logo on it. So they can eat it at the restaurant, they can eat it at home, they can eat half of the restaurant, they have to take the rest home. Um, you can plug in and charge your phone and work. You can watch TV, you can grab a beer, grab a wine, walk your way, do whatever you want to do, feel comfortable, enjoy yourself. And that's kind of, we want people to feel, hey, you don't have to leave, you just do what you want to do.